everyone, it's Saria. Today I'm going to show you how to use Create's Vision Integration to make the most out of using images for your projects. If you haven't played with Vision before or haven't heard of it, GPT-4 Vision essentially allows you to use images instead of just text when communicating with AI. That's going to become a little bit more clear when we get in deeper to the demo, but that's sort of your general overview for now. If you've never used Create before or you're new to our website, I recommend watching my other demo video first. I'll link that on the screen. That's going to give you sort of a basic overview of what Create's capable of and how to use our builder. If you're ready to jump in a little bit more in depth, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna go over three different projects today. Um, we're gonna use vision in all three of them and we're gonna use vision in a different way across the board. So this is gonna give you a really great kind of overview to how you can make vision work for you when using Create. So I'm going to start off by opening up a blank project. So I have a blank project right here. I'm going to go ahead and start by naming the project Vision Tutorial 1, just to kind of keep track of everything. So for this project, I'm going to use this sketch that I made, and we're going to turn this into a real full code app just from this little sketch. So you can kind of see super basic, just with a pen on paper, I made this sort of landing page. We have, you know, a logo up here, some buttons, some text. I took a picture of this um, right here. So again, just kind of like a basic iPhone photo from my sketch. So I'm going to start off by copying this picture. So um, just copy right on your keyboard. And then I'm going to come into this project and I'm going to start by giving it a prompt. So I'm going to say, can you create this? And then I'm just going to paste the image right there. And you're going to see it's already started building. So basically what's going to happen is create is going to use vision to interpret what's in the photo, and we're going to get a kind of live, real version of this basic sketch. So again, in kind of this create um, UI, you have the desktop view, mobile view, code, and then you can change between build and demo mode. So in build mode, you're able to edit text. Um, and then in demo mode, you're going to be kind of like locked in so you can really test out the functionality of your app. So you can see it's already started to come in here. It looks pretty similar to the drawing. So we have kind of a logo up top here, login, sign up, features here, it's able to actually grab all that text. So this is exactly what I wrote. I wrote, welcome to create new way to build with AI. The features here, we have a learn more button and we have an image down here. So it actually did a great job of sort of transforming that into a functional live code version. And you can go ahead and make edits on top of this. So let's say I don't really like the gray color of the background. I can say, you know, background should be white. And um, then it will kind of go ahead and build in the white background. You can see it's started reloading and now I have a white background. So this is project number one, a really great way to just, again, turn basic sketches into projects live, full code. You can see the full code here using Create. For our second project, I'm going to do something a little bit different. And instead of using a sketch, I'm going to use this screenshot I took of Google's website. So this is just like the Google homepage, took a screenshot. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then I'm going to say, can you create this? Paste it in. And it's going to go ahead and start building. So not only can you use kind of basic sketches, but you could also get inspiration from different, you know, websites. If you have your own Figma file that you've made before, you can just kind of grab a screenshot of the Figma file and paste it in there. Um, and you'll see it's really good at sort of grabbing all of this content. It's identified that it needs an image right here for the Google thing, um, the Google logo. Then we have kind of the header bar, space to put in an avatar. We have Google search. 
I'm feeling lucky. Um, and we even have that footer as well. So did a really good job of sort of transforming this Google homepage into a completely customizable version that, again, you have the full code here. So lastly, I'm going to show you kind of my favorite vision piece. So something that is really helpful is its ability to grab content and kind of transform content into a really great functional product. So I have these texts right here. So these are just kind of some like, you know, random text describing a different email. So there's a lot going on in here. I don't really want to like go through and sort through everything to figure out exactly what the email needs to look at. So I'm going to use create to help me do that. So I'm going to copy that image and then I'm going to just say, can you help me create this email? And then I'm going to paste the image right there. And we're going to see it interpret all of those text messages and turn it into great email content. So we'll give it a second to build and you can already see it has registered that we want, you know, we're happy you signed up. Um, different images here for this call out, like we want to get some app images in there. We asked for a user quote, it got a user quote, text, text here, um, the make them yours button it got, it got kind of these logos at the bottom. So this is a super great starting point for me to jump off from and I can go ahead and flash out the whole email and customize it. Again, here in build mode, I'm able to edit text so I can kind of type whatever I want in there. Um, I'm not sort of stuck to the AI generated text. And then I can also go ahead and swap out these images so I can put in whatever images I'm looking for by clicking on the image and dropping different files right here. I hope that was a helpful overview and gave you some inspiration about how to up level your create projects using Vision. As always, please let us know if you have any questions. Join our Discord, I'll put the link below, or follow us on Twitter. Um, see you at the next demo. Thanks.